celebrating the life and memory of June Colwood, a founder of Casey House. The Casey Awards annually recognize individuals or organizations who have demonstrated Colwood's compassionate dedication on behalf of others. Recipients share Colwood's lifelong commitment to volunteerism, collaborative decision-making, and her steadfast belief in the dignity and worth of every human being. Cut started because a service provider uh, was seeing some lacking in services for people living with HIV AIDS coming from different ethno cultural background. It was like a coalition, people coming together with the same uh, common goal. And um, also it was uh, based on voluntary. At Cat we all vote. It's a community process. Empowering people living with HIV AIDS. Empowering also different communities and organizations as well. Working with the community, working with the people living with HIV AIDS, as well as government level to be able to understand what is going on on the ground. The community needs a forum to get together and make these decisions. And CAT provides a forum for people to get together and make these important decisions to effectively educate. Today, I, I can say CAT should be proud by empowering PHAs to be able to speak out and then uh, to show that they are still alive. Casey House, and CAT has saved my life. Human being, we are human being. So having same goals, same passion, same objective, nothing is impossible. HIV is a devastating diagnosis for people, and there's a huge connection between um, becoming HIV positive and developing mental health issues. About 12 or 14 years ago, um, Casey has contacted me when they were um, when I was still at the Wellesley Hospital and uh, they noted that there was a lot of issues with respect to psychiatric uh, problems in terms of depression and at that time a lot of HIV dementia um, and they asked me to start attending their rounds and uh, to be more involved uh, clinically with Casey House. Mark's made remarkable contributions to education of our staff uh, and psychiatry residents medical students, and even people in other countries around HIV and mental health issues. He has a wonderful insight and understanding of those mental health issues and how to help the individual themselves. You know, supporting someone around um, their HIV care is, requires a, a, a multi-professional, interprofessional kind of approach to really help people um, you know, maximize their survival, but also maximize their quality of life. It's really indispensable to have um, the kind of expertise that Mark Holman brings. It really has been so helpful to us as care providers and to our clients over the years. It's quite remarkable. He said, there has to be, there has to be a purpose in my life. That's what he said to me one Sunday morning standing here. He said, there has to be a purpose in my life. And he said, you know what it is? I've got it figured out. He says, I'm going to go the education road. I'm going to tell people my story. There was a lot of fear about HIV and AIDS. And the whole family came out. When Michael came out about his disease, the whole family came out and were supportive and was there for him. We wouldn't be here today if it, if it wasn't for Michael and what he taught us and what we learned through his journey. I guess, you know, I can just say a lot for uh, I've Over the years, getting to know them through Michael, and then when we lost Michael, and I love him. If Michael knew about this award, he would be elated, overwhelmed, so proud of mom and dad. I would say he would be jumping over the rainbow right now.